Hey guys, so today is going to be a lipstick collection video. This has been requested from time to time, but I kind of was always thinking of how I could make it a little bit more exciting than just, this is my pink lipstick, this is my peachy pink lipstick, and just like swatching them on my hands. Um, so I thought it would be a little bit more interesting if I actually tried all of the colors on, you know, keeping the same hair, the same outfit, but just flipping through the different lipstick colors. I have been training like Rocky for this video. I've been applying Aquaphor to my lips five times a day for the past three days and like exfoliating every day, so... <sighs> Let's do this. Actually, first I'm gonna show you my lipstick organizer. This is where I keep my lipsticks on top of my Muji drawers in this little acrylic uh, acrylic lipstick organizer. So I thought it might be kinda cool to take all of the caps off of my lipstick so you could get a better idea of what types of colors I'm actually working with here. So from what I can tell, I'm learning about myself as I go through this, I really, really like pinks. <laughs> have lots of really bright pinks, um, coral shades, a bunch of reds, and some purpley pinks as well. And I come in a little bit more up close and personal so you can get a better look at some of these colors. So the first one I'm starting off with is Angel by MAC, which is technically a frost finish but really does not look like a frosty color. This one has been through the ringer. This is probably in the top three of my most worn uh, MAC lipsticks. At one point, I probably wore this every single day for about a year straight. Kind of similar to Cream Cup. This is Angel. Here's Cream Cup. You can see Cream Cup's just a little bit lighter and more on the cooler side. This is really a perfect color to pair with a darker smoky eye. I wear this one a lot in the winter time and um, this is another one of my top three most worn MAC lipsticks. It is just beautiful. It always looks, just always looks good with everything. This is YSL um, number one. This is the Rouge Voluptes lipstick in number one nude beige. The amazing thing about these lipsticks is the formula. It just like slides onto your lips so silky. It's actually very, very similar to Cream Cup. It's just kind of like more of a beigey type color. EOS, save me. Airy Fairy by Rimmel is really, really a pretty color. It's another one of those kind of goes with everything, no brainer type of lipsticks. Here is what Airy Fairy looks like on. I have two of these NYX matte lipsticks and I really do like them both a lot. This one is pale pink. Be honest with you, I can really only pull this one off when I play, um, play it when I pair it with a gloss. However, Hippie Chic by NYX is much more wearable, and this is an amazing color. Definitely one of my favorites at the moment. It's like a pale apricot, but it has some pink to it, so it's kind of like a grapefruity type of color. It is so gorgeous. And although this one is a matte shade, it's not like it doesn't feel drying on the lips. It's super comfortable and really creamy, actually. Moving on to Summer by Melt Cosmetics. This is a true tangerine. I personally love this color. I think it is so fun and so different. And um, I don't know, it's not as jarring as you would think, you know, an orange lipstick would be. But uh, all of the Melt Cosmetics lipsticks are matte, so they're a little bit on the dry side. You can definitely work with them. I think the color payoff is totally worth it. Okay, so moving on to a shade by Milani. This is called Fruit Punch number 11, and this one is not super, super bright, but it gives you just enough color. So maybe you don't want to go, you know, full on candy yum yum style, but you still want a little pop of color. It is bright, but it's not, you know, so in your face. And the next little guy you guys will definitely recognize. This one is my baby. This is MAC. Uh, Pink Nouveau it comes across brighter than it looks in the tube, so it can be a little deceiving. I wear this all the time in videos paired with Snob Lip Glass by MAC. I love this color. This is always in my purse. It is just an amazing go-to like bubblegum Barbie pink. So now we're moving on to some exciting colors. kind of don't want to take this one off. It's so pretty. <sighs> okay back on my game. I think I'm gonna start with the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in Pink Pop. This one is talked about a lot because it's such a beautiful color. Definitely kind of has a purple undertone so that makes it really really pop. And the beauty of the Maybelline Vivids is the formula because it really helps you to be able to pull off the bright colors in the Vivids line because it has a little shine. And this is Rose Hip by Milani number 14. And talk about, 
talk about color payoff this color is amazing it is so gorgeous I don't think you need a liner I don't think you need a gloss with it just this by itself and all its glory is enough and it's one of those that I love to wear out at night because it really packs a punch uh, Mac candy yum yum enough said I don't know I think it has a cult following <laughs> it's a beautiful color it is an electric pink and there's something different about it there's something really special about it. It's really hard to describe what is so amazing about this color, but I think part of the reason is that it really does look so dang good on everybody. It really does, regardless of your skin tone. The only downside of this one is the formula, just because it is so drying. You don't really notice it right away, but as the day goes on, you can definitely kind of tell that it's just a little dry, eh, more than a little dry. It kind of stinks, but I let it slide because I love the color so much. So candy yum yum. So now on to another electric pink. This is Stupid Love by Melt Cosmetics. And I do have to say I'm definitely having a little bit of a love affair with Stupid Love right now just because um, these are definitely, this one is definitely my type of a color. It's just that almost electric pink borderline fuchsia. Okay, so this one is Maybelline Vivid in Shocking Coral. And this would be a great one for those of you who like coral shades but maybe are a little nervous to go with the more or orangier coral tones. This one has enough pink infused in there that it makes it work. This is a beautiful shade for summertime too. So this is one that, if you watch my videos a lot, you've probably heard me talk about as well. Um, the Maybelline Vivid Lipstick in Vivid Rose. Normally I'm not drawn to like pinky red shades like this one, but it does have that electricity, electricity to it. Almost looks like a bunch of different colors mixed together in one tube. It's really cool. My lips are burning. Let's do some purple, shall we? This one is called a Darling, another one by Melt Cosmetics. Bam! This one is a really vivid lavender lilac type of color. It's actually, I love this color, honestly. Would I wear it out all the time to every single um, occasion? Probably not, but I don't know. It's, it's a cool color to have. And I think you could totally pale it out with like a lighter gloss, but this sucker is definitely purple. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about that. And the next one is Brazen Berry by Maybelline. Another vivid lipstick. I have a lot of those. I love them. You won't be seeing my Vibrant Mandarin, however. Unfortunately, that one melted in my car the other day. Tear. So as you can see, it is kind of grapey, but still definitely a color that you can pull off. I would say, especially if you have a darker skin tone, Brazen Berry would be absolutely gorgeous on you. This is kind of out of order. This one is MAC Girl About Town. I'm just going to throw this on really quick to show you what it looks like. If some of these brighter pinks are worrying you, this might be a good one to try. Like, just a straight fuchsia color like this is really pretty. So again, Girl About Town by MAC. This is Blissful Berry, and this is just a color sensational, I believe, uh, lipstick by Maybelline. It's more of like a dark, vampy, almost like a Merlot type of color. So this one I definitely wear more often in the fall and winter months. So now onto the reds. A lot of these are going to look somewhat similar, so I'm just going to flip through them really quickly. So this is Belladonna, another one by Melt Cosmetics. This is probably the driest of all of the Melt lipsticks that I have because it is, again, a very, very matte formula, but I do love the color. It has that velvety look to it because it is ultra matte. On Fire Red, another Maybelline Vivid lipstick. And this one is nice because it's just kind of like a middle of the road red. It's not super cool, not super warm. Right in the middle and it has some shine to it so it looks lacquery. It's really, really nice. Again, hopefully these are looking somewhat different to you guys, but they are red so they're going to be all red. This one is High Voltage 04 by Milani. This is more of like a tomato red. It's really, really pretty. It's a little lighter so it doesn't, it's not too rich, but I like that about it. It has a little brightness to it. You could definitely, you know, deepen it up with a lip liner. This one I'm actually trying on for the very first time, so here you have it, live on YouTube. It's actually one of my favorite lipstick lines from Revlon, the Super Lustrous Lipstick in uh, Rich Girl Red. It's one of their newer shades that they recently came out with, and I have to say, I'm not a fan of this. It doesn't really have a lot of pigmentation, just kind of looks like I put, and it looks like it does on camera, but in person it really doesn't. It looks like I just put like a reddish tone gloss on. So. Meh, that's kind of sad. Rich Girl Red, um, not the best. Lady Danger by MAC. Definitely one of my favorite colors of the moment. Definitely more of an orange toned red. Perfect for the summertime. It is a matte shade, but it's a lot more comfortable than Candy Yum Yum or some of the other matte colors I have. Okay, and this is the last one. We did it. Yes. 
This is Ruby Woo by MAC. Not much to say about this one other than that the hype is real. It is just a classic, iconic red color and it's probably the most rich of all the red lipsticks that I own. I hope you guys are ready for this. Here we go. <sighs> MAC Angel MAC Cream Cup YSL Nude Beige Number 1 and Rimmel Airy Fairy which, to be honest, all kind of look the same on my hand. NYX Matte Lipstick in Pale Pink. NYX Matte Lipstick Hippie Chic. Summer Lipstick by Melt Cosmetics. This one is Fruit Punch by Milani. This one is my beloved Pink Nouveau by MAC. Girl About Town by MAC. Then we have Pink Pop, Maybelline Vivid. Rose Hip by Milani. Then underneath that is Candy Yum Yum, Stupid Love by Melt Cosmetics, Darling also by Melt Cosmetics, and then this is Brazen Berry, the Maybelline Vivid and Brazen Berry. This is Blissful Berry also by Maybelline. Then over here, this is Shocking Coral and Vivid Rose, the Maybelline Vivids. Then this one is Belladonna by Melt Cosmetics. On Fire Red, the Maybelline Vivid. High Voltage by Milani. This is, look at how crappy that swatch is. This is that um, Rich Girl Red by Revlon. Lady Danger and Ruby Woo, both by MAC. <sighs> so we got through it, my hair is a little bit frazzled and my lips are really burning, but I did it. I'm excited, I'm kind of proud of myself because that's a lot of lippies. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which was your favorite lipstick in the comments below or just let me know your favorite lipsticks in general, what are your favorite colors that you have in your collection that maybe you didn't see in this video? So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye. Ooh -ah, ooh -ah. My lips are going to be stained for like five days after this video. <laughs>